Well, I made it here on the Tongariro. Finally, it's been an excruciating drive from Auckland, about five hours. That's about an hour longer than uh, normal, to be honest. So a lot of road works and things. But I'm here, it's a beautiful day, the sun's shining, and I am gonna get onto the river and I'm gonna try and catch some trout. Let's go. Yep, go one. It's a bit late on the strike. That goes downstream. Nice, first fish on the board. Interesting, I took the dry, but I didn't even see the strike because of the fast water. Try and get below it. Yes. First fish to the net for the morning. It's a lovely rainbow. Took the dry. Stay out dry. Although I didn't see the tape. Right. So let's let it go. There it turns off. Nice. Well, that's the little fly that did the trick. I don't actually know what to call, but it kind of looks like a cicada. And that worked. Well, so I, I don't have audio on a lot of my GoPro footage, it would seem. I don't know how much. Uh, there was an audio issue, the mic didn't connect. Well, that's just how it is. So I hope you enjoy fishing to music. <laughs> If you want to know any of the gear I use, just check the description. I'll put the details in there. Um, sometimes I'll have linked to the gear. Sometimes it's old gear. Probably doesn't no longer exist. But I'll try to let you know in the description of all my videos what I'm using. There's a brown sitting here right in the shallows. So I'm actually going to have to take the nymph off for this because the nymph will just tangle. That was on top of its head, that was really dumb. Better. Coming. Yes! Took it. Awesome. Okay, it's going right down the rapid. That's a good brown. Hope I can land it. So I can just keep it down here. No. Nope. Maybe down there. This is going to be interesting. Riding stick might come up very handy here. Oh. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good brown. Keep it in this little pool if I can. That's my neck. That's an awesome fish. Woo, fantastic. Look at that. On the dry. Okay, now this is a good brown. On the dry, out of super shallow water. Oh, just look at that. 
It ain't the dry. It's somewhere down there. I'm so happy about that fish. It's fantastic. Oh, that's the brown there. Oh, fantastic fish. It's a bit of a shallow spot. I'll move it up this way. Moving up. I can't release it much deeper because it's a sort of rapids. Woohoo! Oh, you couldn't make this up. There's another brown just sitting behind those willows. So we're going to have to take the perfect cast to go to the left of it. It'd be amazing if I can hook this one as well. That's in the tree. The fiber bro, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, it looked. It looked. It certainly looked. Okay, I'll try one more time. To the side. It's a very hard spot to cast. One more time, I'll try them. On top of it, it's turning. It looked again, and you get a better cast. Different fly, I'm gonna try a different fly. Okay, I'm going for a slightly more smaller and more realistic looking cicada dry. Uh, just too far behind it. Too far behind it. In the trees. That's a better cast. Didn't really look. Oh, there's another fish over there. Rising, that's better. That's better cast. Oh, it looked. Wasn't interested though. Okay. That brown didn't like the uh, like the previous two dries. It looked at them, but I didn't eat them. I've got a little flashback pheasant tail on. It's gonna be hard not to tangle in there and get in the right spot. The little beaded flashback pheasant tail. Okay, it's looking, a bit flashed. I think it looked, but I couldn't see if it took it or not. It definitely looked. Is it a cast? Is it looking? On top of its head. Definitely looked at that previous cast, but try more, one more. I can just get one properly in there. All right, now it's cooked now after that stupid cast. Okay, well, that was pretty cool though. Well, that concludes the morning session. Three wonderful trout, two rainbows and a brown. The brown on a cicada dry fly. I can't be happy about that ankle deep water perfect dry fly take. Hopefully you can see it on the GoPro footage, you probably can't because that chesty cam just, you know, you generally can't see things on that. If you enjoy these videos I make, please take the time to subscribe and uh, then you can get notified of any future videos I make, I'm trying to produce weekly. And also please leave a comment, let me know what you thought of today's video and uh, give us a like as well. Then see you in the next one.